What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to access the dock faster on Chromebook using a shortcut. Now this video is featured on the Chromebook playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are in Chrome OS on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, which is an awesome two-in-one that we unboxed and reviewed recently. And you can find the link for that video in the corner of this video. Now there are two ways you can open the dock and you probably already know about them. The first is to use the trackpad and we're going to hover over the clock and click on it. That would open the dock. And if we click on the clock again, that would close it. Now you can also open the dock with the trackpad and you can just click anywhere on the screen that closes the dock as well. And the second method would be if you have a touch screen, you can just hover over the clock and tap on it with your finger and that would open the dock. You can click on the clock again and that would close it or you can tap anywhere on the screen and that would close it as well. But if you want to be super efficient or maybe just appear super techy, you can use the shortcut Alt Shift and S that opens the dock. And that same shortcut would also close it. Personally, I like this more than using the trackpad and hovering over the clock and then clicking on it. That seems like it takes longer. And also, if you were to even use the touch method, if you have a touch screen, that means you have to take your fingers off of the keyboard to do so. I feel if you already have your fingers on the keyboard or maybe you're already using the trackpad, it's much more efficient to use that Alt, Shift, and S shortcut. So let us know in the comments below, are you using this shortcut or are you simply using the trackpad or are you doing it on the touch screen? So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. And you can also find the Amazon storefront link by Googling Amazon Pixels Cracked. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.